Okay, in this problem, let's calculate the marginal cost, I'll write that out, of the 500th unit. All right. Now, in order to do that, what you need is the total cost of the 400th unit, and that, of course, we have, and you would need to know what the total cost of the 500th unit is. Now, that information we don't have, but we can get it because we do have the average total cost of 500 units, which was $6.40, and if we multiply that times the number of units there, that of course we can do in our head six dollars and forty cents times a thousand would be sixty four hundred since it's half that, then this number would be thirty two hundred. It goes in this box here, a little bit sloppy writing there, but that difference between the two, of course, is your marginal cost of producing one hundred units. That's eight hundred. And of course, what we're interested in knowing is what's the marginal cost of the 500th unit. And of course, if you take the $800 and change the cost, and then you divide it by the number of units, 100, that gives you a marginal cost of each one of these 500 units of $8.